Welcome to another Atmos Effects Tips and Tricks video to help you take your digital decorating to the next level. This time, we'll explain how to create fantastic hologram-like illusions in doorways, hallways, or even your yard. Spook your guests with a ghost that materializes out of thin air, or a gang of skeletons that rises out of your front yard. These aren't actual holograms, but it's pretty much the next best thing and really easy to pull off. Just hang a semi-transparent, mesh-like material where you want the hologram, which isn't really a hologram, to appear. Then project the digital decoration you want right onto the mesh. It's that simple. The key to this illusion is finding the right material to project the image onto. Some inexpensive options are bridal mesh, fine gauze, mosquito netting, or scrim. You can find most of these at your local fabric store. I suggest you bring a flashlight with you to the store to test out some different fabrics. If the clerks give you funny looks, just tell them you're a Halloween fan. They'll understand. You'll get an idea of how well the material will handle projection just by shining the light through it. Look for material that preserves the sharpness of the beam. Some fabrics disperse the beam too much across the surface and create a blurry blob of light. You don't want a blurry blob. Or if the weave of the mesh isn't tight enough, it won't catch the light at all. It's also important that the materials fairly see through because it's an illusion and you don't want your guests to know it's even there. The trick is finding a balance between these two factors in a fabric. For indoor use, you can hang your material in a doorway, hallway, or even across a whole room. Make sure to stretch it taut for a flat, even surface for your projection. Try to avoid letting the material droop or fold, or it could distort the effect. If you're decorating outside, you can put up a simple frame to attach the mesh to and stand it up in your yard. Or make an eerie archway for your hologram to lurk in. If you want something that's pre-made, you can find an inexpensive arch at your local garden or home improvement store. Here's another great trick. Run transparent fishing line between two mounting points in your yard like trees, swing sets, or fence posts. Then hang your mesh from that. When your mesh is finally set up, it's time to position your projector. For this type of illusion, you can either front or rear project. It just depends on the space you're working with. Keep in mind that if you project from the front, your projection will likely spill onto your background and create a double image. So we generally recommend you project from the rear. Find a spot where your guests won't notice the projector. You don't want to give away how you're creating the effect and spoil the illusion. In the doorway setup you see here, we moved our projector off to the side, so it's just out of view. This illusion obviously only works if it's dark. But that doesn't mean you can't have elements lit in the background. As long as it's behind your mesh fabric, you can light it. In fact, the more objects you light in your background, the more your mesh will disappear. Don't go overboard and floodlight everything, or the ambient light will wash out your projection completely. But strategically lighting a few choice objects behind your mesh makes for a sense of depth, like your digital decorations floating in midair. Now you're ready to create an amazing holographic illusion in almost any space you want. For more about using projectors, check out our first tips and tricks video called Window Projections. It covers all the basics and what to look for when you're buying a projector. Thanks for joining us and learning more about Atmos Effects Digital Decorations.